Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about the new PvP monster sets for Cyrodiil. Like, when I heard about this, I was super excited. I'm like, wow, the devs are really concentrating on PvP, and that, that, that's kind of different, right? Well, the more I got to looking at these sets, there is one set in particular that I don't know, you guys may think is absolutely broken, absolutely OP. I'm here to tell you it is the biggest jebated set I have ever seen in the Elder Scrolls Online, okay? So, first off, let's go over Colobial Highlands, alright? So, this set right here is like the ultimate Zergling monster set. So, you do have to get the Killing Blow to activate this, so whenever you kill a player, you essentially generate 15 ultimate for you and your party. This is obviously a Zergling set, possibly a small group set. Um, you know, maybe, you know, you, you have a pocket healer and a couple DPS or whatever, and you run this, and you can just like, it's almost like having dynamic ult region um, all over again. So this is actually not a bad monster set, and the One Piece gives you offensive penetration, which is arguably like one of the best One Pieces in the entire game. So this is actually not a bad set. Uh, that, this is okay. I actually like this. This is really cool next set i want to talk about is nibbany uh, battle reeves so this is pretty decent it does give you uh, a lot of critical resist this is equivalent to like um, almost three gears of impen for the one piece which is really strong and then you do get a 15k damage shield when you use something like streak um, now for classes that don't have a self heal um, just like the the stamina sork and for example i could see this being very very good on that class so you get a 15k damage shield this does get bolstered by your CP passes as well, like Bastion and, um, and passives such as that and other sets will also bolster this. Um, I believe it scales off of uh, your max stats. I haven't tested this. It's, uh, I think it's your, your your maximum resource pool. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's how it works. And this is really good. It's a 15k show that it actually has a pretty decent uptime and it also gives you um, essentially what minor protection does so this is a unique buff as well it's going to give you five percent mitigation when you actually don't have the shield active this is actually when you're thinking about pv this is really strong i mean i i, I thought this was a really well thought out set and it's kind of unique and i i thought this is uh pretty good so you know whenever you use like a teleporter streak or whatever so this is actually a well thought out set you know kudos is awesome this one this one this one's good now let's talk about draw mountains there is a lot of talk about this set how it's completely op that there's going to be a defile meta guys this is the worst set i have ever seen in the entire game of eso so let me explain why the one piece whatever weapon and spell damage let me read this fully and then i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk to you guys about why this is the worst set in the game like this actually is is, is negative like it, it, it's like dirty barnacles on, on on your character like it's terrible so dealing damage applies a stack of a malady or whatever that is to your enemy reducing the healing taken by one percent for five seconds you can apply the stack every 0.5 seconds it stacks up to 35 stacks uh, which is pretty crazy if you think about it so it will take you 17 seconds to get the full stacks of 35. Now let, let me explain these stacks. So the stacks are really weird. When you use Curse Eater, for example, which will eat three negative effects, Curse Eater does not cleanse. Uh, I think Curse Eater is just bugged, actually. I'm not sure if all cleansing effects work like this. Like Purge, for example, I heard Purge from the from the uh, support skill line also has this effect. But when you use Curse Eater, it cleanses three negative effects. It only cleanses three stacks, not the entire negative effect itself. So I think that's a bug Zoss needs to work out. But that's not why this set is bad. Let's continue on to the second paragraph. Applying Malady gives you a stack of Contagion, reducing your own healing by 1%, stacking up to 15 stacks, and this can be applied every one second. So. That, to me, sounds like a Zorgling set or like a 1v... It, to, on paper, it looks like a pretty decent 1vx set. You know, you're trying, you know, everyone complains about overhealing, uh, complains about cross healing. This seems like it would be really, really strong. This is a unique debuff, so this will stack with minor and major defile as well. But what is going to happen? Okay, you cannot cleanse this contagion from yourself. You just have to let the stacks fall off and uh, let it let it do its own thing. So you can't use Mars Bomb to cleanse it. You can't use your own Purge to cleanse it. it, it nothing will get rid of this. Weird Tree doesn't get rid of this. So what will end up happening? People who are running Mars Bomb has a free Purge. People who are activating the Templar's Purge has a free Purge. If you're running the Cleansing and Revival CPs, which they still have not fixed, which is absolutely ridiculous that this is still in the game. So Cleansing Revival 
Killing a target under 25% removes all harmful effects from them. This can occur every 24 seconds. This is essentially Mars Bomb. And the proc condition, your opponent does not have to be, or excuse me, you do not have to be under 25% health. This will proc at 99% health. It's just a free purge all the time. So, with that being said, I played around with this set today. I ran a, a few other um, purge sets. And what will happen if anyone is... is has any brains whatsoever in BVP if they're running cleansing revival or Mars bomb or weird tree or, or you're just purging in general and cleansing in general what will happen you will be fighting someone you'll have these stacks on them okay we'll say we'll say you get up to like 17 stacks what will happen is that they will purge the effect so you have to start all the way back over from a stack number one but what still remains on you you're still generating stacks of contagion reducing your own healing by one percent all the way up to 15 percent so if you come across anyone using a purge whatsoever you're just applying a 15 percent heal reduction to yourself for no reason because you will never be able to generate enough stacks to this for it to work in your favor so a lot of people say oh this this is super meta this is super awesome no this is literally the worst set in the entire game because the only thing it does is put a 15 percent heal debuff on yourself and it doesn't do anything to your opponents i mean that's granted if your opponent doesn't have a purge yeah it's awesome but let's be real who doesn't who doesn't have a cleanse or a purge or, or running one of the op meta sets so um i just want to talk about this set a little while and uh it doing get me started on the patch notes, guys. I was going to do a video about it, but I was getting he heated reading the patch notes. Continuing to nerf the Dragonite, okay, sure. But for them to continuously buff the Nightblade, guys. I'm going to leave the video there, okay? It's pretty nice, short, and sweet. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Maybe you have some sort of build that this will work on. But please, for the love of Christ, do not get jabated by running Geralt's Mountain of War Chiefs, guys. This is literally like the worst monster set in the entire game. That's all I had to say. A huge and glorious shout out to my patrons, community members. Follow me on Twitch and YouTube. I'm streaming pretty much every day now. It's good to be back. I'm out. Peace.